here we meet again for our next method to solve a transportation problem. As we have learned other two techniques, very simple techniques like NWCM and LCM in other videos that you can find in this transportation lecture series. Today we will discuss how can we solve a transportation problem using VAM. What is VAM? It is Vogel's approximation method. Vogel's approximation method. Today we will learn how do we make an appropriate assignment using Google's approximation method. This probably is the best algorithm to make assignments in the given transportation problem. Now, if you remember NWCM, NWCM used to say that go to the northwest, sell. So it was basically a directional method. Directional method of finding the best cell. As we have talked earlier that any of these methods, all they do is tell you the best cell at the moment, for the moment best cell. And WCM was using a directional approach to give you the best cell for the moment. Then another method was there which was LCM. What LCM was doing was it would tell us to go to the least cost cell. So, while NWCM was a directional method, LCM was a cost based method. And today, we will talk of this new technique called VAM, which is basically a penalty based method. So, NWCM is a directional based method, LCM is a cost based method, while the one that we are studying today, VAM, is a penalty based method. How do we go about this? A very different approach. First, we need to find out what is the best cell for the moment according to VAM. For the purpose, we will be finding out penalties. Penalties of each row and each column. What are penalties? Penalties are the costs that we pay for not making the best choice. For example, let us talk of A. A can transport a unit at first in 9 rupees. A can transfer a unit to second market in 8 rupees. A can do so to third market in 3 rupees. While if it transfers a unit to market 4, it costs it a 2 rupees. So, for A, what would be the best option? It looks like for A, this is the best sell. A should transport units to 4. For some reason, if A is not able to transfer units to 4 at rate of 2 rupees per unit, then it will be going to this cell. Because 2 is the best price for A, 
next best is 3. So, if A does so, if A has to move to cell 1, 3, that is A3, for some reason, in such case, A will be losing 1 rupee per unit. Why will it be losing 1 rupee per unit? Because it could have done the job in 2 rupees. Now it is spending 3 rupees for the same job. So, what is the penalty for A? As a manufacturer, what is the loss that A will be facing? 1. Why 1? Instead of 2, you will have to work in 3 rupees. What happens with B? B could have got its work done in 1 rupee. But if something goes wrong or maybe due to a wrong decision, it might have to transport some number of units at rupees 2. So, what will be the penalty? Difference of these two. 2 minus 1. So, we once again get a penalty of 1. What will C do? It will take 1 as its best cell. If something goes wrong, it will move to this cell. Fine. So, how much is C losing as a result of not taking the best choice? It is losing 2 rupees. Why 2 rupees? Because it has to now go for 3 instead of a 1. So, penalty would be 2. Now, these were penalties for our production houses. What about penalties for our markets? See, 1, 2, 3, 4, even these are our markets. If I lose a rupee on either of these markets, it will be a loss ultimately to me only. So, what I will try and do is, I will try to minimize penalties for these markets also. What is the penalty that market 1 could have faced if it made a wrong choice? Best was 3, next best was 5. So, it would lose rupees 2 as a result of wrong choice. How much would market 2 lose? Best is 1, next best is 4. So, it will lose 3 rupees 4 minus 1. What about 3? It will lose best is 2, next best is either of these 3. So, it will lose 3 minus 2, that is 1 rupees. What about fourth? It will lose 1 rupee, 1 and 2. So, now that we see, this is what our sources or destinations are going to lose if they do not make the best call. So, what should we do? We should try and minimize our losses. We should try and avoid this loss of rupees 3 because it is a very big loss. So, what we do is we go ahead and tell market 2 that go ahead and minimize this loss of 3, avoid this loss of 3. And if we give first chance to market 2, where will market 2 wish to import from? This cell. Because this is the cheapest cell for market 2. So, 2 will rush to this cell and import whatever it can from this particular combination. C2. C second. How much can it import from this cell? It can import. C is making 32 needs 15. So, it can import. 15 units, 30 and 15, it will give us 15 or rather I will make use of another color, let us say blue one, 15. Now, we see that market 2, all it needed was 15 units and now it has 15 units. So, from here on market 2 does not need to enter in our discussion. As a result of this assignment, we saw that second was completely exhausted, while C, who needed 30, now needs only 15 more units. Fine. Now, let us find our new penalties, because as a result of this, second market 
being removed from our further calculations, there might be changes in penalties. Let us find out new penalties. For A, the penalties would be from 2 and 3, least 2. Penalty would come as 1. For B, it would come from least to 1 and 2, again a 1. For C, it would come from 3 and 5, again a 2. For first, it will come from 3 and 5, again a 2. This is done. For third, it would come from 2 and 3, which would give me a 1. Here, for fourth, it will be from 1 and 2, which would again be a 1. So, I can see that there are a couple of two penalties which I need to work upon. If I give this C a first chance, that go ahead and save your penalties, what would this C be doing? This C would rush into this cell. And if it rushes into this cell, it can make an assignment of 15 and 21. How much will it make? 15. Fine. Now, if I give this 2 a chance, that is the first market a chance, that go ahead and save your penalties. This first market will rush into 3 rupees per unit cell. And it can make an assignment of 14 against 20. So, it will make an assignment of 14. So, which one of these two cells is better? This is saving me 2 rupees on 14 units. This is saving me 2 rupees on 15 units. So, I will be saving 28 rupees on a total cost over here and 30 rupees on total cost over here. So, which cell is best, better? Definitely the cell combination of C third is better as compared to combination of B first. So, what we will do is, we will go ahead and give C a chance to avoid this penalty of 2 rupees. And what will C do? C will go ahead and assign 15 units in this cell. What happens as we assign, as we assign 15 units? C needed 15 units, done with it. A total of 30 units, 15 and 15, 30 done. C is fully satisfied. It has supplied what it made. But third market still needs 6 more units. It still needs 6 more units. Because it needed 21 units to start with. It has 15 units now. It still needs 6 more units. Fine. Let us go ahead and find next round of penalties. A. Still those 2 and 3 are struggling. So, we get a penalty of 1. B. Still those 1 and 2 are struggling. We get a penalty of 1. This is done for now. C is completed. What happens with first 3 and 9? We get a huge penalty of 6. If it were to happen, we get a penalty of 1. If it were to happen, we get a penalty of 1. So now, if I make a wrong choice, at present state, I will be losing 1 rupee, 1 rupee, 1 rupee, 1 rupee and 6 rupees. So which loss is the worst? The 6 rupee loss is the worst. So what should we do? We should try and avoid that 6 rupees loss. How do we avoid that 6 rupee loss? We give first chance to this. Who is this? This is market 1. I will give first chance to market 1. Go ahead and save those 6 rupees that you could lose. So, what will market 1 do? When I give it a chance, it will run in this cell. Because this is the cheapest cell for market 1. And how much can it assign over here? 14 against 20. So, it can assign 14 units over here. When it assigns 14 units, what do we do? 14. First market is done. Let us remove it from the further calculations. And then we have B. 
who need, need to supply 20 units initially now it has supplied 14 units so still it needs to supply six more units somewhere else done with this phase let us move on to our next phase which would be a two and three one b one and two one what happens to third three and two one two and one one all penalties are one so let me check which would be the best bet if i give the run to a it runs in this particular cell and it can transport 20 units for me if i give b a chance it will run in this one rupee cell and it can transport six units for me saving six rupees if i give first go to this one who is market three then it will go in this two rupee cell where it will be transporting six units saving six rupees for me and if i give this chance to fourth market then it will run in this b4 combination this one one is best for it so it will run in b4 combination and transport six units for me so who is the best one this cell is the best one because it can move 20 units for me so what will i do i'll go ahead and assign 20 units and as a result of this assignment a is completely exhausted four is completely exhausted all i'm left with is this one cell which is b with six third with six so what do we do just go ahead and assign these six units let us check the feasibility of the solution is it feasible a needed 21 got 21 so needed 20 got 20 b needed 20 got 14 and 6 20 complete what about c c needed 30 got 15 and 15 30 everybody on the row side looks good what about columns first column first column needed 14 got 14 second column needed 15 got 15 third column needed 21 got 21 in shape of 15 and 6 fourth column needed 20 got 20 so we can say that our solution is initial basic and also feasible what about the total cost by now we know how do we find total cost total cost for this assignment would be 2 into 20 plus 3 into 14 3 into 14 plus 2 into 6 plus 1 into 15 plus 3 into 15 so i can say total cost would be somewhere around 40 plus 42 plus 12 plus 15 plus 45 which equals 154 as you can see across videos that this total cost is best one if you remember if you have gone through other videos you might remember the total cost for nwcm was 442 total cost for lcm was 168 and total cost for ram is 154 so we can see though this might be a bit complex method but definitely it is saving me huge money so you can leave your queries in the comment section if you have any